evening. So today talking about intermittent fasting. So there's, I've been doing intermittent fasting for a, quite a while at this point, and I'm right now in a 60 hour fast. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I do it, um, the reasons, the benefits. Um, there's Harvard, Michigan University, um, and the DOD and a lot of other groups have done about 50, 60 years worth of intermittent fasting research at this point. Um, some do the whole keto side, some don't. Um, most major religions have some kind of intermittent fasting component to them. It's, I mean, something humans have been doing for a long time. And modern science is starting uh, to do a lot of more research in depth on why and the benefits, and I just wanted to share a few of those tonight. Uh, number one is eliminate and or, and or reduce the amount of insulin produced in your body. Um, obviously, we eat a lot of sugar in our modern day society. Um, a lot of people are becoming diabetic, uh, insulin resistance. Um, the, when you're in a fast, what you're basically doing is starving the body of all the glucose production. Um, therefore, you need insulin to eat all the glucose. So by removing the glucose, you're automatically reducing the insulin. Um, flushing that out of your system can then reduce your insulin dependency and insulin resistance. Um, some studies have even gone so far as to show the remission or elimination of diabetes. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, two, actually lowers the amount of calories your body needs during that time frame. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, great way to bust through those plateaus. Uh, if you've ever found yourself stuck, intermittent fasting is a great way to get unstuck. Um, a lot of these studies are showing now that it also increases the longevity and um, slows down the aging process. Uh, when we fast, our body actually releases stem cells to go and heal those broken pieces of our body. Um, in our world of abundance right now, we're overeating and therefore all of that is now generating um, anti-fasting, right? So our bodies are always overcompensating. Whether with the intermittent fasting, that body has actually has a chance to rest and repair. Uh, number four is lower blood pressure. Um, when we're fasting, the body has that chance to um, heal. Hey, David. Here he is. Uh, hey, Bethany. Thank you guys for joining. So as we're doing the intermittent fasting, we're lowering our blood pressure because we're lowering the impact on our system, allowing that system to actually self-heal. Uh, reducing cholesterol. So when we're eating too much, the body has excess lipids that we haven't digested. It's got nowhere to go. So when it has nowhere to go, it's collecting within our body, uh, especially the arteries. And therefore, the fast, we're using all that stored energy floating around our system, less to settle, overall reduce our cholesterol. Uh, repairing insulin resistance. Um, when we burn all our glucose through the fast, especially in these longer periods of fasting, like 60 hours like I'm on right now, we can then burn through all that excess glucose and then reduce that insulin. Um, repairing fat to liver syndrome. Um, there's the alcoholic version, the non-alcoholic version. The majority of America has the non-alcoholic version at this point. It's um, really just an excess thing, right? We're eating too much sugar, we're eating too much food, and we're not allowing ourselves the chance for our body to use up all the resources that are in it before we add more to it. Pretty. Um, increase endurance. So if you're uh, an athlete or just an enthusiast, um, either when you're jogging, say running, cycling, um, the intermittent fasting will actually give you more energy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, better motor coordination. I thought this was a pretty fascinating one. Um, it helps the brain repair itself in that fast period. More sleep. We all, <laughs> I know me, Spurg, got twins, so more sleep is always, always beneficial for me. Um, number 11 is increased lifespan. So as you're in your fasting, your body's able to do all that repair work and actually extending life. Um, and one of the more interesting ones is number 12. It's reduced tumor growth and the chances of cancer. Cancer survives on glucose, so to be able to um, reduce all those sugars um, can starve out cancer, which I thought was really interesting. Some of the research I was doing for um, some family members that have gone through that now. So Very much appreciate watching, and uh, if you guys have uh, any questions or more 
uh, in depth about my 60 hour fast, um, drop a line below and I'll be uh, happy to answer. If you guys want to join me on the next fast too, be company, company loves misery, right? <laughs> we'll see you guys later.